his heart gives the smallest glow. I think that I can see it show. Your eyes have a spark, you know. And this, is my custom made Paw Patrol plushies poster. A little something I made all by myself. And now, it remains as a sacred piece, inside that picture frame. You're such a dork, you know that? I never knew you liked the show so much. And if I remember correctly, you're the one who kissed me and was willing to give me another chance. Well yeah, but I wasn't expecting to see all of this. Guess that's what I get for accepting the full package, of accepting and wanting you back in my life. Yep, exactly. Well, since I'll have to start getting used to you liking the show, I have a question. Those Paw Patrol DVDs sitting on the shelf up there, are they mainly just for display, or can they be taken down and be watched on TV? Mainly just for display. If they do need to be moved from the shelf, I prefer to be the one that handles them in order to avoid the discs getting scratched or damaged. I guess that makes sense. Do any of your friends also know about your liking for the show? Nobody except you, but I'll tell the rest of my friends when the time is right. I'm sure one day they'll understand. Speaking of which, you should get going. It's almost noon, which means AJ and James Sullivan are probably already waiting for you at the park. Oh geez, I can't afford to be late. I'll be back later. Thanks again for watching over my stuff Jess. Doesn't he ever learn when to stop running around so much? Jace really does care a lot about you, doesn't he? Okay, so we have to decide on what we should do first. Well let's see. We could always start off with a romantic kiss together, but then again, that's always how we've started off our alone time together. Maybe we could try cuddling first instead. No, anything but that. Well sorry babe, I didn't realize you disliked cuddling so much. No Jess it's not that. It's something else. Please tell me they just fell off the shelf and onto the bed or just fell onto the floor. Calm down Jace, what's the matter? What are you freaking out about? They're gone. This can't be happening. Babe, look at me. Calm yourself down and tell me what's wrong. Up on the shelf, I saw something that should not be possible. Three of my Paw Patrol DVDs are missing, and I can't find them on the bed or on the floor. Are you implying that someone might have stolen them? What other conclusion could I possibly come to Jess? I told you before that I prefer to be the only one that moves those DVDs. Let's just calm down and take a deep breath. Are you positive that you carefully checked on the floor, and on the bed for the DVDs? I'm 100% positive. I checked carefully, and didn't see them. I have to find them. I spent good money on those DVDs, and I can't afford to buy replacements right now. Those DVDs mean a lot to. Babe. Get a grip and calm yourself down. They're just DVDs, and freaking out about them will not do you any good. I want you to calmly take a deep breath, and listen to me carefully. <sighs> Alright good, now let's both think about this carefully. Both of us last saw all five Paw Patrol DVDs on the shelf just a little over an hour ago, right before you left the house to go hang out with James and AJ. And let's add in an important key factor here. I was here by myself at the house the entire time, and I would have surely heard someone come through the front door, or through a first floor window. Well, my second floor window is the only other way into my room other than the door. Only problem is, there's a desk in front of the window, and I always have stuff sitting on the desk. Then let's check around your desk, and see if we can find some possible clues. Hey, where's my laptop? It's always supposed to be sitting on my desk. Looks like someone carelessly knocked it over, cause it's right here on the floor. How did we not notice that when we walked in? We'll worry about that later. For now, 
it looks like we have a possible lead. The person who stole the DVDs, must have entered through the window and knocked the laptop over, either when they were entering or when they were leaving. Where does your second floor window lead to? It leads to the backyard. The thing is, the backyard is surrounded by fences, and like I mentioned earlier, my window is on the second floor. So someone would need a ladder in order to reach my second floor window. Then let's check the backyard for more clues. There doesn't appear to be any signs of someone using a ladder over here either. Finding the DVDs might be more difficult than we thought. Wait a second babe, look over there, by that tree. No way, it's my Paw Patrol Ultimate Rescue DVD. But, what's it doing over there? The thief must have tried to climb up the tree, and somehow dropped the DVD in the process. Well, I'm glad this DVD is safe and sound, but we still have to find the other two that are still missing. I promise babe, we'll find those DVDs as well. I know how much they mean to you, and I won't let some thief get away with this. Thanks Jess. You're the best. Here, you head inside and put this DVD back in your room. I'll look around and see if I can find any more clues. I sure hope my other two missing DVDs are fine. Thank goodness that I have just helping me look for them. Hello? Hey, I found another possible clue, but it's not in the backyard. It's on the other side of the fence. Wait, what? I'll be right out. Yep, I was right. There are clearly markings on the ground over here by the fence behind the house, and they definitely came from a ladder. Hold on, remember how my ultimate rescue DVD was near the tree? How come they didn't use the ladder instead? The ladder would have been too heavy to throw over the fence, and the fence itself is too high for someone to climb. Plus, if this was a one-man job, it would be near impossible for them to grab the ladder, and then pull it over the fence. Also, if the ladder somehow fell down, or to avoid being seen by someone, then the thief would have had to jump off of the roof into your backyard, and then would have had to climb the tree, resulting in them dropping the DVD. You're really good at explaining these kinds of things. Yeah I know, must be from all the crime shows I watched back in the day. Regardless, let's get back to work on finding those missing DVDs of yours. But the thief could be anywhere by now, and we wouldn't know where to start looking, or who to ask for help. Excuse me, but I think the two of us can lend you both a helping hand. Nice to see you Jace. It's been a while since our last friendly get-together. Oh, hi Jessica Andrews, nice to see you too. And um, who's your friend that's accompanying you? My name is Roxanne McAllister, but, you both can call me Roxy. Roxy's my cousin, and also my next door neighbor. She found this on the ground outside of her house. Wasn't sure if it belonged to you, so we came over to ask. My Paw Patrol Mighty Pups DVD. Yes, this does belong to me. Thank you so very much Jessica, and special thanks to you as well Roxy, for finding this. Of course. But I have to ask. Why do you like a TV show that's mainly targeted for younger kids? Um 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 I guess it's because. We'll have to save your questions for another time Ms. Andrews. Me and Jace here still have one more missing DVD to find. Um, yeah, what she said. There's still one more DVD we need to find, and we'll need all the help we can get, to find out who the thief is. We figured out the robbery occurred sometime between 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. Well, I wasn't home around that time period, but I know my cousin was. Did you happen to see anything strange around that specific time period, Roxy? Now that you mention it, I did see something strange. Well, we're all ears, Roxy. What did you see? Earlier before I found a DVD, I saw these two strange dudes walking by, and they were carrying a ladder. A ladder? Sounds like that just might be the lead that we need. Did you manage to get a description, or a good view of what these two guys looked like? One was really fat with brown hair, and the other one was wearing sunglasses, had black hair, and had a bike or jacket on. 
Well this changes everything. Now we know that there are two thieves instead of one. We'll put the description you just gave us to good use Ms. McAllister. Thank you for your assistance. We'll take things over from here Jessica. I appreciate you and Roxy bringing the DVD back to me. Glad we could help you out Jace. But remember, you still have to answer my question when you get the chance. Don't worry, I'll be sure to do that another time, whenever I'm available of course. In that case, me and Roxy will be on our way. See you two around, and good luck finding your last missing DVD. Bye Jess. Bye Roxy. You both take care. Well, I'll head inside and put my DVD back on the shelf, then we'll head out and see if we can find those two thieves. Sounds like a good plan to me. So how exactly are we going to find these two thieves? Roxy may have given us a description, but it could be near impossible to find them. Not if we look hard and look carefully dork. We'll find your last missing Paw Patrol DVD, then we can put this day behind us. I sure hope you're right Jess. You know, what we're doing today, reminds me of an episode of Paw Patrol. One of my favorite episodes too. Which episode was it? Ultimate Rescue, Pops and the Case of the Mystery of the Missing Cell Phones. In that episode, Chase, one of the members of the team, had to lead the entire Paw Patrol team to help solve a mystery, when all of the town cell phones went missing. And who was the one responsible for stealing those cell phones? Oh yeah sure, like I'm gonna spoil an episode you haven't seen yet. I'll have to show you sometime so you can find out for yourself. I'll be looking forward to it. Anyways, where do you think we should start looking for these two thieves? Well if I was a thief, I'd definitely hide in an alleyway in an abandoned building or possibly even somewhere that nobody would. Babe stop walking. Stop walking? Why? And what are you looking at? I think I just found our thieves that match the description that Roxy gave us. Over there, in the park. You, have, got to be kidding me. Of all the people I'd expect to steal my Paw Patrol DVDs, those two would be the last two people I'd expect. Do you know them or something babe? You're talking like you recognize those two. Those two, are what you might call the next generation of Laurel and Hardy. Their names are Bunky and Tiny. And I've seen various videos of them on social media. They're always finding ways, to get their asses thrown out of different places. But I never knew. They lived here in Tyndale Valley. But you're right, they do match Roxy's description, plus I can clearly see a bag and a ladder next to them. Honestly, it looks like those two, are the only thing standing between us getting the DVD back. Will this really be that easy? Easy, is an overstatement Jess. You'll see what I mean very shortly. Dude, will you please knock it off and quit dancing? You're making yourself look like a total idiot. But Bunky, I love to dance. I don't care. I swear, sometimes I question why you and I are brothers. Regardless, we need to keep moving and get out of here before someone sees us. You did steal valuable items, right? Yes, of course I did. Okay, good, because I want to get some really fast cash off of the stuff we stole. Yeah, Bunky, behind you. What do you two want? This conversation is between me and my brother, so get lost. Yeah, that's not going to happen. You two might as well just hand over what you stole. I don't know what you two are talking about. Now Scrav, get out of here. We're not leaving anytime soon, not until you two give back what you stole from me. And we can clearly see this ladder right here next to us, and that back over there behind your brother. Just hand the bag over and there won't be any problems here. Look, I honestly do not know what you two are talking about. We have never stolen or taken anything. Wait, Bunky, that is not true. We took some stuff from a house just today, and now you're gonna get rich. Wow, we greatly appreciate you helping us out. Tiny, what the absolute nine levels of hell is wrong with you? I know you're really retarded. But I did not expect those exact words to come out of your mouth. I just wanted to admit the truth. 
I will never know why you and I are related. Now we are definitely screwed, thanks to you. Told you, these guys are like the next generation of Laurel and Hardy. Look here you brats, we are not going to return the items in this bag, they belong to us now, and we are going to get rich, off of these valuable. <coughs> what the? Hey, there is a hole in this bag, and what is that that just fell onto the ground? Looks to me like one of the valuable items you ended up stealing from my house, is actually a Paw Patrol DVD, that belongs to a really good friend of mine, who has a younger sister and brother. Nice bluff. Thanks. Tiny, what is this? I thought you were going to steal something valuable, not something that is for little kids. But Bucky, this DVD is valuable. Maybe in the eyes of a preschooler you stupid idiot, but not to me. Look here, with the fact that the DVD in your hand is not going to be worth really much of anything, why not just give it back to me? And if you agree to give the DVD back, we won't tell the police about you two stealing other people's property. In my opinion, it's a reasonable deal. You give back the DVD, and you two don't get in trouble. So, what do you say? Normally I would not do this. But I am not gonna get Jack Squad off of this DVD, so fine, you two can have this back. I got it, and just like the other ones, it's not broken or damaged. Thank you for agreeing with our conditions. As per our agreement, we won't notify the police about your actions today. I suppose that is a fair trade. Now, if you two do not mind, please leave, I am gonna have a little talk with my brother. Alright, we'll be on our way then. Good day, I guess. Good day, gentlemen. Bunky, why are you mad at me? Why? Oh, maybe because you stole DVDs that are actually meant for little kids, you big dumb buffoon. I knew I should not have trusted you to break into the house, using the ladder and that tree. We're not actually going to let those two get away with stealing your Paw Patrol DVDs, are we babe? Of course not Jess. We're still not going to rat them out to Tindale Valley authorities, but, they still will be dealt with, accordingly. Well, I am way smarter than you, and I know it. Oh that is a laugh, and what are you going to do? Beat me up? You cannot do that even if you tried. Maybe he can't, but I can do it, easily. We are definitely screwed now. You two never learn, do you? A shame, because I show no mercy to thieves like you. Oh, crap. 